So what about nano aquariums? Uh, how, how big is that here, the hobby of setting up small reef aquariums? It's pretty big? Yeah. It makes it very affordable for somebody to get started. And although um, a lot of the old literature suggests that the only way to have a stable aquarium is to start with something quite big, you know, maybe um, uh, you know, 150 liters or something like that. Uh, in fact, that, that's not necessarily the case. As long as you keep the aquarium in a temperature-controlled environment, uh, it's quite easy to maintain a, a really small reef aquarium. Um, I started promoting this back in the late 1980s, early 1990s. This was my 15-gallon reef aquarium back in 1995 when I kept by far too many things in it, but it was successful. Um, and that, the basic system, I had a tremendous diversity of corals. I was using metal halide lighting, um, which I started doing when I added the mangrove to the tank. Um, before that, I had fluorescent lighting. Uh, I was dosing kalkwasser. This was the Berlin method, and I had protein skimming. I was also harvesting uh, macroalgae, algae filtration. Uh, back in 1991, this is the same tank, um, protein skimming, kalkwasser, and I was using a bare bottom at that time, and I was promoting it as the only way to go um, because of detritus accumulation. Uh, shortly thereafter, I, I started experimenting with sand beds of various depths, and um, although I've seen wonderful bare bottom tanks and have set up some, I, I really tend, I prefer having a sand bottom, and it does um, offer some greater stability with respect to the water parameters with the accumulation of nitrate and maintenance of pH. What suggestions uh, but, do you have about depth of sand, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Uh, the question is, what suggestions do I have about depth of sand? If you're, if you're using, um, let's say, fine sand, I, I like uh, approximately two inches, maybe some areas three inches, other areas only an inch, but a, a rough average of about two inches, that's fine. Uh, so that's not truly deep sand bed. Um, but you know, it works quite well. You get denitrification with two, two to three inches. Um, when you say fine, is that like sugar fine? Or? Uh, yeah, sugar fine, uh, you know, or, or slightly larger is what I use. I, I haven't used that really ultra powdery type fine. Uh, I mean, you can, but um, you know, sugar crystals is, is a good, more or less idea. Now, I've set up and maintained for many years tanks with gravel. Um, either right directly on the bottom or using a method that's called Jobert's method. I think I get into that in this lecture. Uh, but when you're using Jobert's method, there's a couple of caveats. It should be gravel, not sand. Um, and then you have a plenum that's in the, in the gravel. It should be about three inches of, of gravel over the plenum. Um, and you should not put much live rock on the gravel itself uh, so that you get a good open surface uh, for the, the process of biological filtration. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, this is back in 1971. Um, the aquarium was set up by my brother Elliot. That's me there on the left side with the long hair. Uh, I did have hair at one time. It was my brother Brad uh, looking uh, also at the tank, and you notice the 1970s uh, style <laughs> and the clothing, very mod. Um, so that was not a reef aquarium. That was a typical undergravel filter. 20 gallon tank with an out of focus little uh, juvenile blue angel fish. Um, and when we were kids, we would go to the beach. There were jetties, rocks where we could collect our own angel fish. We also could collect them uh, on the island where we grew up. Uh, they were there. Uh, this is in 2006. Oh, I wrote this in for Spain. So, mi hijo, which means my son at two years old, uh, with my refugium of uh, 75 liters. Um, and that, that's the same mangrove tree that was in my 15 gallon tank back in uh, 1994. Um, and so there it is now in a 20 gallon uh, refugium aquarium. Uh, next to it is a 250 gallon um, reef aquarium. Uh, I don't have pictures in this lecture showing that, uh, but they are connected. At this point, they, they were independent because you can see that big tank was empty. I just set it up back in 2006. Oh, I do have a shot. There he is a little bit later. Um, so that, that is a larger reef tank. You can see I like Gorgonians. This tank has um, a Tunzi weight box on it. So the Gorgonians sway back and forth. There's about a one inch uh, displacement. Um, you'll notice that 
Uh, there's about two inches of sand, um, almost no live rock. The corals are, are growing up and filling the space. Um, and, uh, you know, a fair diversity of, of stony corals, although you can't really see it in this picture. Power consumption.